Thank you, Leon, for introduction. Uh, my name is Hyun Yuk from MIT, and I would like to introduce our project briefly on organ sealing bioadhesive patch. We have two other members. One is Professor Swan Ho Zhao from MIT, and another is Professor Christoph Knopstick from Mayo Clinic, Rochester. So among many possible use cases of our technology, we would like to primarily focus on organ leaks after surgical repair and reconnection today, which is called anastomotic leaks. The anastomotic leak is a very common problem as 10 to 30% of GI surgeries are experiencing that. And it's very costly issue as a $24,000 or above is required to treat them via admission and hospitalization. And it's very dangerous issue as like of a lot of a detrimental complications like a sepsis is increasing over three times mortality once occurs. So it's a big problem. And also it's a very costly issue, for example, the cost of a colorectal anastomotic leak alone, among many other GI surgeries, are costing a lot as is a huge volume per year in US and a high occurrence rate and a lot of cost. So summing up, the colorectal anastomotic leakage alone costing over $1.5 billion per year in US. And this is just the one type of GI surgery among many others. But there is no effective solution available in the market for these big issues as existing tissue this product that's supposed to be helper for this problem do not meet clinical needs for AL prevention as we learn from over 40 plus interviewed surgeons and collaborators and leading medical institutions like Harvard Medical School and a Mayo Clinic. The existing products are just way too slow formation of adhesion taking over five minutes while four time costing over $100 per minute and they are not compatible with the wet tissues as required to be dried by surgeons using gauzes before applications. There are shielding robustness is insufficient as these products are weak and brittle generally, and a lot of complex preparation with the multiple syringe mixing, thawing, a lot of things. And the once addition form, there is no way to reverse or detach the addition so that taking care additional attention from the surgeons. And overall, it's very difficult and irreproducible use require a lot of training and experience to do these things, which are all unfavorable and not meeting the clinical needs for the AL prevention in general. So we come up with our solution ourselves. We invented the biodiesel patch for this AL prevention. You can see from the image, it looks like a transparent tape or patch is consisting of a non adhesive backing on the top to prevent the adhesion or supposed to surgical adhesion. The bottom side is tissue sticking by adhesive. So we can see this as a surgical duct tape. So you can see how it actually works. We have a peak tissue sweated with the saline and no preparation or no applique, no tools needed, just to stick on it, no drying, just the pressing few seconds as we do for duct taping of a leaking plastic pipes. And it just seals after a few seconds. It's like, a, it's pretty convenient. And we are very excited about this technology. And we find that we do have a lot of capabilities to address the unmet clinical needs of existing product that I bring up again here, as we can form addition less than five seconds, the web addition compatible completely, superior strength and toughness, and no preparation is needed at all. And the on-demand detachable, once we apply an aqueous solution after a few minutes, and that there is a no training and tools needed to use. So therefore is almost ready to use by surgeons once they are available in operating rooms. So we bring few key data to support the performances. One important thing is addition performance. As you can see from there, our technology have a superior addition performance in terms of addition energy, shear strength and tensile strength in comparison with the commercially available tissue adhesives like a cyanoacrylate, arbumin-based one, polyethylene glycol, and fibrin-based ones. And as the implantable devices, the biocompatibility and degradability are very big concerns. So we checked in vitro in vivo red and also in vivo peak studies ongoing for biocompatibility, which shows excellent in vitro with the almost comparable cell viability with the control and in vivo biocompatibility with the degree of inflammation set by the pathologist showing similar level to the very biocompatible material like a coal seal and much better than cyanoacrylate. And further, we can have a tunable biodegradation whose rate can be tuned for weeks to months based on a composition and also based on an application of demand in different places of the GI organs. And the most important thing is that we did in vivo preclinical study based on GI organ leak prevention and we completed a rest study and we are ongoing a peak study in collaboration with the Mayo Clinic. 
you can see from the video that our patch can immediately seal the pretty large defect in rat stomach, small intestine, and colon in a few seconds. And after sealing, it can reduce the leakages when we inject a huge amount of saline as a standard way of checking leakages. And after four weeks, this patch still stay on the surface of the organ and underlying defect is being healed by preventing leakages which without not, not much encapsulation on top of it. And the rat was pretty happy after four weeks before the sacrifice, which was very successful. So we are looking into the peak study going now. And uh, it's pretty cute, right? And we set a three goals and a three milestones before we are thinking of a next step of a commercialization under the Dashman Center grant program. So first is a feasibility check, and second is the initial validation, and third, the clinically relevant validations. And so far, we first finished the two goals and milestones. We are going to finish the third one until this fall. So after this, we are really looking into the next steps for the commercialization. Our technology will be class two medical device whose FDA approval pathway will be 510K or PMA, depending on the situation. So we have a rough timetable here and we are planned to set up start around the third quarter of this year. And after that, we are looking into a investment for costly next step like the GMP production, preparation, initialization of a regulatory procedure, larger scale peak study, and eventually clinical trial for the market entrance. So we are looking for learning more about the next steps and for questions and comments during the breakout session. And thank you so much again for the presentation and thank you.